right guys so as you know we're gonna be shooting this XMRE video today this is an XMRE by wow I mean it's a MRE made by XMRE um, it's a 1300 XT this is meatball marinara I believe is what it's called let's look at the back real quick it's menu two um, yeah meatballs and marinara sauce wheat snack bread um, crunchy peanut butter <laughs> lemon lime beverage powder um, Oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie and dry fruit mix includes a heating sleeve beverage bag and accessory kit and heater um, Yeah, we're gonna open this thing up Trusty little Seven dollar knife Say hi Ian real quick. You haven't said hi yet for some reason. Hi. I'm gonna wave to both cameras because I use They're a dork <laughs> um, but Yeah, supposedly military grade. Let's see. I've never had this XMRE before the only one I've had before was the standard issue military MREs. I do not believe this company makes the standard issue, even though the packaging is very similar. I guess I could do some research into that. So all I did was just cut the top off that right there. Um, let's take a look at what's inside. We've got it's wheat snack bread. Wheat snack, snack bread. It's so it's wheat good. snack bread. And you like wheat snack, Ian? I like wheat bread. Um, we've got an oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. So oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie I guess um, here why don't we throw that away real quick the tip the top of that uh, a pretty standard accessory packet we've got some coffee some napkins a wet wipe You're having the coffee. more coffee oddly enough it looks like there's two packets of coffee we're gonna dig into that and figure out it looks kind of interesting um, an XMRE authentic military grade dry fruit mix. Um, Ian's definitely going to be the one trying this because I'm not huge into fruits. I'm just not a fruit guy, I guess you'd say. I'm a, I'm a wet fruit person. I'm, I'm You're a warp fruit person? What does that wet, mean? A wet. We've got oh, marinara sauce wet. and meatballs. Um, we've got beverage based powdered lemon lime, natural and artificial flavors. Um, well, we'll both try it. I've got a. Well, it says use your canteen cup. Well, I don't have my canteen cup anymore, so we actually bought some metal cups and stuff for this. Um, here's our beverage bag, which we I might use. I don't know. We'll probably just use the standard uh, cups we got. Um, a heater. I mean, all this stuff looks pretty authentic, to be honest with you. I don't know if they use the same people for getting the food packaged, but this looks very authentic, except for this thing, obviously. This thing is yeah, it's not something I've ever seen before in a memory. Um, Me too. It's definitely got their packaging on it, but the rest of the stuff they might actually be getting it from uh, the same people that the military does. It's got a weird little heater pouch I've never seen as well. It looks like you fold it up or something. You put your emery pouch in there and your food in there. Huh, it's interesting. Everything else in here? Oh, some type of uh, it's just ways to heat your emery meal apparently. So just. Uh, th the meatballs are apparently 300 calories, 17 grams of protein. Service per container one. Uh, we'll be sharing it all, so I'm not that worried. And we've got chunky peanut butter, actually. Oh, yeah. Nice little packet of chunky. Um, we'll be opening all this and trying on different stuff. And that's the end of the bag. Now, the cool thing about these bags, though, are because they're so heavy. You could use this to store water or something if you're out in the field. Um, you could use it for re putting all this back in there and you can fold it over. Um, I mean, there's, there's uses for this stuff. I'm not going to actually throw this away because we got a Another thing we'll be doing, I'll be taking a trip soon here, so I can probably put some stuff in there. And um, we got our survival backpack. Yeah, the survival backpack that we're going to be doing later on. But yeah, we'll probably go through all this stuff uh, a little bit. Let's get rid of that card. I don't need that card. Um, we'll probably go through this a little bit more later on today. Uh, this is just the beginning part of the video. Um, we're going to be shooting this thing all day pretty much. I'm waiting for my lunch to show up before we go ahead and eat this. Uh, we'll eat this right afterwards probably. Um, but yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, like I said, it looks very authentic. It's inspected by the U.S. apparently. The meatball marinara is. feels like there are nice chunky meatballs in there too. Um, wheat snack bread and then the oatmeal cookie. The oatmeal cookie feels pretty hard. I mean, we're going to open that up and see what that looks yep. like when uh, the food comes in. Or after I eat it, I mean. Let's open up the accessory packet real quick too while we're waiting. Very hard. Yeah. Uh, 
A little bit off putting a spoon. It's not quite the issue what we see normally. Fresh naps, deep rich instant coffee, uh, some pepper and iodized salt, creamer, um, some sugar. Oddly enough, another coffee. So I get two coffees and one packet of creamer. So I guess I'd have to stretch this between both. Um, stuff feels okay. All feels fine. Um, it's 100% instant coffee, apparently. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, napkin's pretty nice looking, too. Alright. We'll be going over this again later. For right now, that's it for right now. This hard squishy. Oh, you think that's hard and squishy? Yes. But this is very hard and not that squishy. Yep, it's because it's, it's uh, vacuum packed. Alright, alright, alright. So, uh, what we did is we grabbed our meal tray and a cup. Uh, this is our stand in for the canteen cup. It's just a steel pint glass. Uh, we actually have two of them. Um, the second one, you know, grab when we need it. Um, we got our fork here, our, sorry, our spoon. He's got an extra spoon so we can try some stuff. Um, let's do this thing. Let's sub the heater real quick. Oh, I'm guessing you put it in. So we got a tear here. So there's a tear slot. A tear slot. That ah, doesn't have anything to do with it. So, you tear off the top of it. See where it says do not overfill? So you gotta fill it to this line. This line right here, guys. Yeah. Um, once you fill it up to that line, you're gonna put your food in there. Actually, you should probably put your food in there first. Otherwise, you're putting your hand into some hot water air thing that's going down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. We're gonna be Move it down a little bit. Put this down on the bottom of the bag. Put the heating element. We can get in there. Just to get that in there for some reason. All right. Let's try that again, real quick, guys. So what you want to do is, I'm going to put this down inside the bag, this is a smaller bag than I'm used to for some reason, that's why the other ones aren't this small usually. Okay. I would think those would be bigger than the other ones because it's called Push it, F push it all the way down in there, that's what I'm trying to do right now. Okay, what we're going to do is, we got some warm water over here. We got some water. And that's gonna go. You shoot this a little bit there. And it goes inside there. This should be plenty. It's actually overfilled. Overfilled it. It says not to overfill it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the stupid thing. We're gonna dump some of this out real quick. We uh when we get get this, we'll get this ready. Pork, pork, forks. It's a fork and. What we want to do is we want to fold this over as soon as you can. Okay, I can smell it. You don't want to take in too many whiffs of this thing. You don't want to breathe in too much of it. Yeah. And now you kind of don't want to handle this too much right now at this point because it's very hot actually. I'm just trying to get in the sleeve. I should have probably put it in first. I can't really see that in this camera. Uh, so, once you get it down in there, you can set it up somewhere so it'll stay out of the way. Should use it set for about like 20 minutes. Let it warm itself up. So you see in the other camera, it's warming up in that corner. Um, what we're gonna check first is probably gonna be um, the oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. It's just disgusting. I got this. He's got a drink that he wanted to show off. It's just a juice box. Um, and we're also going to take out that other snack. Um, the Exa Marie dry fruit snack. Wow, you're going to have the cookies. Okay. 
Uh, let's not put that there. Let's put that over here. And we'll both try some of both of these. Uh, like I say, it's mostly bananas, some apple, that type of thing. I don't see the uh, saturation pack for that. But, yeah, maybe. I'm not even sure what that is. I think it's an orange. Banana chocolate chip. Banana chip. Try one of these. Tell me what this is. Where are you going? Try one of these. Tell me what it is. What is that? It tastes like a carrot. It doesn't taste like a carrot. It's way right too sweet. It's way too sweet. Like sweet I'm not sure what it is. I mean, he could be right. It could be a carrot. I'm not sure. It's actually not bad, though. So this is the oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. Ian can try some at the same time here. No, it's uh, very crunchy, crumbly, buttery. It's actually super good. You can taste the oatmeal in there too. So it's probably relatively healthy for you. I'm going to take that by that. We're just uh, drinking a ton of drink right now. I'm trying to compensate for the fact that that was really dry. I don't really like that much dry food. He's a wet food kind of guy, apparently. Uh, here's our wheat bread, I which, as you can tell, it looks like a cracker. It's like a soft piece of bread um, wheat based and what you'd normally do with that is you'd put some of your um, crunchy peanut butter or something on there yeah, what we happen to have for this is we do have crunchy peanut butter um, what I can't get it to tear oh no there we go about to knife the hell out of it um, try a little bite. I'll try a little bite of it. Tastes like some delicious peanut butter. It's it's why is it focusing on the the it's focusing on the word. It takes a lot to eat it. It was really good. I think even eating like that one. Alright, that's enough. You want another bite? No, thanks. Wow, it's super good, actually. I don't want to feel me myself up before we so, did that. So, Ian actually volunteered to drink this by himself, so I'm going to try some too. Ian, why don't you uh, grab the other cup down real quick off that shelf? And uh, what I'll do is I'll pour it evenly between the two um, cups. Um. I got two right here. Stop all the cameras. It's good enough. It's good enough. I just wanted to be able to see them both cameras. And you can see it on the other camera already. Um, I don't see a tear for this one, but I don't want to tear it easy enough, anyways. So, this is a lemon lime. It's a nice yellowy color, yellowy powder substance. So, I'm guessing you put some water in there? Of course, you put some water in there. Let's try and put some water in there. Here, I'll pour it because it's a lot of water in there still. Yep. Let's see if these are about even. Or I'll over give the, him too much sugar. It's the last thing he needs. It's too much sugar. It looks like it's clean. It's lemon lime. It's probably way too much water for it too. But I mean you can see it pretty well on the other camera so I'm just going to do this real quick. 
Um, you can see what's inside of the other camera on that. Part. Yeah. Um. Hang on, let me mix it up real quick. That's what I grabbed that extra spoon for. Mixing the drinks. All right, come pie. It's kind of weak, mind you. I definitely overwatered it, but it's not bad. You did overwater mine too. It just I have smelled, a swim. It, mm. it tastes like a little bit wine and and a lot watery. Okay. The substance didn't work that well. Just saying that. I don't think it's that bad. That would be acceptable to me in the field, because yeah, I remember. You're out in like a dry field somewhere where you don't have like all the fun stuff and necessities. And we do have the wet nap still. Yep. We don't need that yet. We haven't even gotten to the good it's stuff. The wet nap. <laughs> um, so yeah, you don't have all the fun stuff that you might want. This is probably pretty good even though it's only been a couple minutes. Let's take a look at it real quick, see if it feels warm. Oh, I never do this because if you touch the heater packet, you're going to burn the shit out of yourself. It's warm. It's not hot. Let's close it back up for a couple more seconds. Let's keep trying some more of this stuff. What about that one? What's that? It's probably pineapple. I don't like it, so I'm going to have Ian try this one. Ian, you want to try that one? Chew it. It's soft and gummy on the inside. Put it into it. It is, but it's very sugary. Yeah, put it into it. Um, I'm talking about just like, chew it. A little bit gummy, pineapple-y. I don't like it. You don't like it? He doesn't like the pineapple one either. He didn't like the banana chip either. I'm going to try one of the banana chips. No, it's not bad. It's definitely what I would consider to be like a nice survival food because this is going to stay long, good for a really long period of time. And it really is pretty good, actually. Banana chip thing. He's not eating any of that stuff. He's just showing it, and then he took a little bite and runs away. You don't want any of the more of the cookie or the peanut butter? I will have peanut butter. You want some more of this? Yeah. All right, take a bite of that. He took a big bite. He's chewing it. He's gonna have to drink some. Stay over here and chew it so you can drink some afterwards because you got your drink right there. Oh, you're gonna be drinking this one, I guess. Here. Your backup drink. I'll pick up your fork. Alright. We're just gonna go for this thing. Because, uh, I'm impatient. Just like I was when I was in the military. A slightly warm meal was always okay to me. Put this over in the trash. Grab it from there. Yep. Put it in the trash. Okay. Still has some water in it. Yeah, it'll be alright. You put it in the trash, right? Not like outside the trash. Yeah, it's yeah. good enough. Okay, let's mix it up a little bit. Just because. Ooh, it is kind of hot in some spots. It's real hot in the bottom. It's kind of nice. Okay. This one actually opens on the side. So let's go ahead and try to open it up. My hands are wet now from messing with it. There we go. Let's try and dump it out. Oh, oh look at those meatballs and marinara sauce. <laughs> so delicious. Good. Careful, your drink was almost in front of the camera. Okay, here you want to take care of that real quick? Don't put the fork in front of the camera. <laughs> So, um, these are the meatballs and marinara. Let me try. Come on, don't do that. Just come on, let's grab some food. So, this is the meatballs and marinara. Um, not bad. I could let it warm up for a little bit longer. It's warm, it's just not hot. Which isn't disappointing at all, I don't think. They're nice and soft, too. The sauce is pretty good. 
see what it tastes like on the wheat bread. It's just not bad at all. I really do like it. Meatballs are not bad at all. Tastes like those uh, packages of, like ten dollar meatballs are kind of smaller than them, but the package of ten dollar meatballs you can get at like the grocery store, the frozen ones. That's what it tastes like to me. Mm. Well, let's see if we can get a Gavin in here real quick to try one. Actually, I know how to taste. This is like a, I don't know. It's like I think it's orange. But yeah, awesome cookie. I'll give you that afterwards if you want it. Mm -hmm. The cookie's really good. Um, Ian doesn't like it because he doesn't I'll like try. Oatmeal. A meatball? Mm -hmm. Alright, now he wants to try stuff after trying some of the food. He thought it was like going to be gross or something. So here he comes. He tried it. What do you think of it? Is it good? Yeah. Alright, see? It is good. Two little taste testers plus some adults say so. All you got to do is starve your kids for a little while and they'll be all hungry for it. I'm just joking, of course. Want another one? Uh, no? Yes? Okay. Alright, guys. Uh, that'll be the end of this video because we're just going to devour the rest of this food, which means you don't need to be on here for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to save my coffee. coffee. I'm going to save it for actually when we go on their trip, just in case I want some. So, oh, and Ian wants to use the wet nap, I think. Hang on a second, guys. <laughs> so... This is the fresh nap that comes in the package. Nice and wet still. Uh, mind you, this was manufactured last year, so I mean, I guess you'd imagine it to be wet still. So, yeah, nice and wet. Ian can use that when he's done eating, because he's still eating, so there's no point in using it. All right, guys. There's no more meatballs. No, there's one right here. Oh, really? That's a small one. That's a small one, but yeah. That one. But yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching our video. This is it for bear reviews today. You don't have to put it in front of the camera. <laughs> have a great day, guys. Bye. Say bye, Gavin. Bye. Time to edit. We still gotta do an intro. Yeah, we did do an intro. Mm, I don't know if we actually Wait. watched it and saw if it was good, so we might have to do a, another intro. Wait, where is Sarah? I'm just gonna get thrown away. What? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, anyways, we need to um, do a new intro of, like, not talking. Throw, no, grab it. Come on. Throw it off. Oh, did you hit stop on the thing? You did not.